Okay, we're ready to start here. I'm going to do a little bit of insurance. I'm sure I may not need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Anthony sent me this guitar. I already primed, so I don't have to put primer on, but it's been sitting around my studio for a few weeks, I think. I've been doing other projects, so it's been waiting on me, and I'm just going to wipe it down with a little alcohol just in case anything weird's gotten on it. Uh, fingerprints. I don't like to paint over my own fingerprints. <laughs> this guitar if it gets in trouble. I don't want my DNA on it, right? I'm kidding. Anyway, so I'm wiping it down with a little alcohol just to make sure there's nothing on here that would keep the paint from sticking properly. So there, I think that's good enough. And when I paint the other side, I'll do the same thing with this. Just make sure there's no lint. Oops, there's a piece right there. Okay. Looks good. Now I'm done with that. Trash. Done with that. Okay. Now we're ready to start putting on the base coat. And I'm using uh, Rustellian's Painter's Touch White. And it's semi gloss white. I use this for a lot of the things that I paint. There we go. Some more. I'm about out. Anthony, more paint. I need more paint. And you know, I, I'm i really old fashioned with what I do because some people spray paint, and maybe Anthony spray paints when he does his own finishes on his guitars. But I, <laughs> I use a brush. First of all, I hate spray, spray painting. I don't. I can't do it right, and um, so I don't. I do actually have a, uh, a sprayer. I have a, an official whatever sprayer that you can do it with, and I have used it. I did it on. I did a rocking chair for Can You Swimming one time, and I definitely used it on that, and it turned out pretty good. But a lot of the things that I paint. Part of the charm of what I paint is the texture of the finished work, where it has a bit of a nice touch to it when you feel it. I'm sure Anthony goes over it with so many coats of polyurethane or whatever he uses that it doesn't, you can't feel what I'm talking about, but you can see it because it has a bit of a 2D effect way I paint. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I love doing these. And actually one of my guitars sent a picture, a neon picture in the slideshow in the front of this project, uh, was sold to a famous guitar player who plays for his wife's band, Janet Gardner. His name is Justin James, love that name, awesome name. My family was supposed to be Candy Jesse James, if you can believe that. He was called Mr. Howard, and I come from the Howards. On one side of my family, on my mom's side, they're Howard, the Howards. So I'm gonna go over this whole guitar with this white paint. And if I need to do another coat, I will. But I just wanted to get started with this so you could see. I'm going to get my little Q-tip and get some paint that's running down into where it should not go for Anthony's hardware. He puts on these things. I've learned about a little bit about guitars. This is where the neck goes, right here. And some other stuff goes down in these little, these little holes. But I want you to see this part. And I'm going to pause again until I get all of this on. And then we will go on to the next part of this project. Hang on, hang on there, Anthony. It's going to be all right. It's going to be 
all good, I promise. We're back. And Anthony, I went to Home Depot and I got new paint. So the back side of your guitar is going to be better than the front side of your guitar. I'm kidding. But you're such a kidder. I have to kid with you. I'm doing the same thing I did to the front. I'm just going over with a little alcohol to make sure it's nice and clean because I've been holding this thing every once in a while, pretending to be a rock star. And we are going to now. Okay, Anthony, I have a, a bone to pick with you. When are you coming to my studio here in Georgia and helping me with that little contraption that holds the guitar so I can flip it and paint fronts, back, sides all at once? Because I've had to wait now for quite a while so I can paint the back side of this. So we've got to make that date, okay? Promise. You remember you told me you would do that. Oh, that's not me. That's the guitar has a little problem there. Not a problem, but. So we're going to paint the whole back side. This is going to be such a fabulous guitar when it's all done. Anthony Giamatti, what a name. Love that name. You must be. You must be Italian. Are you Italian? And Moxie Guitars, that is awesome too. It couldn't be a better name, honestly, for what they are. Best guitars in the whole wide world, right, Anthony? The most unique guitars. He makes the most fabulous, unique guitars I've ever seen in my life. Time of looking at the guitars. I mean, most guitars, you have to admit, they're all pretty much, well, I should maybe, maybe I'm very ignorant, but a lot of them are very much alike. <laughs> um, Anthony's. I don't think there's any two alike. All very individual and unusual. That's why I was so in shock when he asked me to paint what I do on his guitars. I'm very honestly honored and flattered. And I will do my best to make this at least as good as the others. And I'm going to have to get my trusty Q-tips. What would I do without Q-tips? I don't know. They are like part of my repertoire. Oh, man. It's just to try to get even strokes. Even strokes. Okay. Now, there's a few little problems a few problems with the paint going down in these holes so I just get my q-tips and just take one little swipe and oh, there's one more place here gotta have an eye like a hawk right here and this is the place that I have to paint this little plate that covers over this hole and here's the plate which I'm gonna paint Let's see. Um, if you can see it, I'm going to show it to you. It's just a little thing that goes in this little area here. And I think I'm not going to show you. I can't get it all <laughs> under the camera. I will paint that in a minute when I take a pause. Now, we are ready to let this dry. And the next process will be gritting. The gritting process. That will be fun. That's time consuming, but I will show you how I do it. And now it is goodbye for a little bit. 